all right guys so welcome back to the channel it's nhls here and in today's video guys i'm going to be teaching you how you send bulk emails using your gmail account so if you are somebody you're you're, 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 you're really really interested in learning how to send bulk emails directly from your gmail account then you need to watch this video because i'm going to show you how you send bulk emails right here from your gmail account and you know just to show you proof of what i'm talking about you can see here on my screen you can see here are the list of emails that i've been able to send um, um you know mails to and you can see that even after i have their email addresses i also have their name and again i also have the status of the email i sent so maybe this um the email i sent was either opened or is yet to be opened i get to see it right here so i'm going to teach you guys the easiest method on how you go about sending bulk emails on your gmail or using your gmail this method is very very easy very very simple and also you can do this all for free so you don't have to worry about things like maybe um you know money and things like can i be able to do this of course you can be able to do this because it is very very easy and very very simple to do so without wasting much of your time guys i'm going to go right straight into details okay on how to go about sending bulk emails rightly from your gmail account so um I would like to introduce myself to those of you watching my video for the very first time. If you're new on my channel, my name is Annie Charles and thank you so much for clicking this video. I really, really hope that this video would help you sort any issues you have relating to box sending of emails. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please make sure you don't leave here without hitting the subscribe um, the subscribe button. And also, please show me you enjoyed this video by smashing the like button in appreciation. And for everyone watching, please, if you've got any comment, okay, if you have any questions, question you'd like to ask me please you can let me know in the comment section below and to my existing subscribers you guys are amazing thank you so much because we are really really growing so fast so with that all said my appreciation has been given out guys so now let's just jump into it and let me show you how easy it is to send book emails right from your gmail account so the first thing you want to do right now is you want to head over to google okay and you want to search for sheets um, dot google okay or you can come over to google and just type things like google docs or google sheet any one of them you can be like docs dot google okay you can search for this all right when you search for docs dot google you'll be redirected to a page where you're going to be having access to the google sheet and once you have the google sheet okay what you want to do right now is you want to open your google sheet okay you want to sign in into your google sheet so it is very very easy and very very simple to do so i'm just going to wait for this to load up okay and you can see the first thing i have to do is i have to give it a name so for this tutorial video what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a random name something like to my subscribers uh, I can just put that because I love my subscribers so much so to my subscribers okay then I can just click on start editing so that is the first thing you want to do you want to name the sheet that you are working on right you want to name the sheet that you are working with so I'm just going to click on got it so after you've done that guys now you can see on the first column I'm really really telling you this please just follow me it's very very easy to do you don't have to worry just watch me see, um, see the way I'm doing it and you replicate the same thing and you'd also get the same result that I am getting so you can see on the first column a number one we have a blue box here so what you want to do is you want to type in email address okay you want to type in email address because this is the place where we are going to be um you know importing all of the emails we want to reach out to right then the second thing you want to do is you can see on the big column still on the first line okay you want to put in the name okay because you want to have the names if you don't have the names of people you want to reach out to it's super fun you don't have to worry about that but for me i have their names already right i have their names already so i would also import their names and their email addresses but for you if you don't have any names if you have only the email address you can just do away with the names column okay so what i'm going to do right now is after i've been able to do that the next thing i'm going to do is i want to import the email addresses that i want to reach out to so very very simple i already have a short list of people i want to send a particular message to write a particular message to. so you can see it is a personalized message right so i'm just going to go over to my google uh, my text tab okay and i'm going to copy you can see it's a very short list but for you it can be so much it can be so many right so i'm just going to come here and i'm going to paste in the emails i just copied so you can see i have their emails here already so i can just come here and put in random names so um this is charles okay the second one here is john okay 
so i can just put in their names so the same thing for you too if you have their names you can put that there this is Kalista, okay and um this is um dano all right so you can put in their names if you have their names just to show you guys how you do it right so you can see i have a short list of email addresses here and i also have their names so now if you've been able to do this successfully the next thing we want to do right now is we want to head over to our gmail account that is where the magic is going to be happening right so you want to come over to your gmail account and what you want to do right now is you can see where it says the compose okay the compose tab okay you see where it is the compose tab so you want to click on the compose tab this is where you're going to be writing the message you want to send okay the message you want to send the mail you want to send to people this is the basic place where you are going to be writing it so i'm going to skip the two place you can see where it says two many of us if you want to send message would get to impute the email address of the people you want to send to here on this first line but i want you to ignore that for a while and come over to the sub line so you can see where it says the subject so what you're going to do right now is you want to copy the message you want to send so for me i already have my message copied so i'm just going to copy the message this is the um the subject this is what will be seen first so i'm going to come back and i'm going to paste that in here all right and for the message itself i'm just going to come here come back here and copy it right i'm just going to come back here and i'm going to copy the entire message so you can see this is so so easy to do i came prepared so i'm just going to paste that in here as well boom so we already have a full message that we want to send okay so now you can see that if you've been able to do this all right you notice that it is going to be saved up as a draft file okay it's going to be saved up as a draft file so what you want to do is you don't want to click on send but rather i would say that you close this okay you can see we closed it and the message is not lost yet if we go over to our draft file okay sorry let me come over to our draft file if you head over to the draft file i'm waiting for this to just get connected back i think i was um i was um shot out from my server All right, guys so you can see here on the draft file we have it here you can see we still have the same message here so the message is not lost the reason why we have to save it on the draft file is because we are going to be reaching out to several people all right and several persons is how we are doing it here so you want to leave that as the draft file and you want to go back to your google sheet okay you want to go back to your google sheet and you can see these are the names of people you want to send to the next thing you're going to do right now is you want to come over to extensions okay you can see where it says extensions all right so you can see where it says extensions you want to click on the extension folder okay or the extension tab very very easy and you want to click on the add-ons you can see where it says add-ons we're going to be getting an add-on and with this add-on we'll be able to box send any kind of email okay any kind of email to a large number of people so with this add-on that i'm about to reveal to you to be very very easy for you to send emails book emails directly from your gmail account so you want to click on get add-on okay once you click on get add-on i want to show you guys the add-on that you'll be getting me i already have it but i'm going to show you guys um the add-on that you would need to get so you can see here what you want to search for is yet yet another meal match okay you can see yet another meal match so that is the add-on that we'll be getting so this is the add-on here please make sure you take note of the picture of the add-on okay you can see it here yet another meal match so i already have this installed so you can see let me just click on it so you get to see it much more clearer so you can see i already have it installed that is why it's telling me to uninstall with this add-on i've been able to send book emails right from my gmail i get and that is the reason why i'm revealing it to you as well and for those of you making use of a smartphone i've basically not tried this out but in as much as you can access google sheet from your smartphone i really really believe you can also try this method and you should be able to send book emails even with your smartphone okay so if you try it out and it gets to work please let me know and if it doesn't work please you can still let me know so i myself would make my research and gather up information on how to go about sending book emails right from the gmail account using the smartphone okay so now let's just continue with that so please make sure you have this add on installed on your google sheet right so i have it that is why it's telling me to uninstall so i'm not going to uninstall it because i already have it so i'm just going to close this okay and now 
what we're going to do right now is you're going to click on extension okay and when you click on extension you can see that the add-on is going to be showing you can see the add-on is going to be showing so this is the add-on here yet another meal match so if you successfully activate it on your google docs meaning if you install it properly okay which is something so so simple to do you're going to be seeing it i have to but i'm going to be showing you how to use this one first so this is the one i'm going to be making use of so i'm just going to click on start meal match so it is very very easy once i click on start meal match automatically you can see it's going to see working and what it's going to do is that it's going to help me connect my gmail account with this list of emails that i have here so that the emails that i already i have down on my gmail account okay is going to be sent to this email addresses that i have here can you can you can you understand that so what those add on doors let me um, um elaborate more what this add on does is that it connects my gmail account my personal gmail account okay the email the um the mail that i want to send the message i want to send okay it connects it and it send it to the list of email addresses that i have on my google sheet so you can see it is the connector it is the intermediary between my gmail account and this google sheet the list of email addresses that i have here so the more list you have the more it connects the message you want to send and it send it to them automatically automatically for free you don't have to waste your time you don't have to stress yourself about anything and the super super thing about this is that you get to see the status either the message was sent or it wasn't and also if it was opened you get to see it as well so now let's just carry on so you can see that the name the thing you want to do is you want to put in the sender's name so maybe you don't want to use your real name you can basically use another name for me i love making use of charles's marketing because most of the message i send are all messages of marketing i either want to sell something to my um to the list here or maybe i want to you know maybe tell them about the particular product that they need to get immediately so i'm just going to leave this as charges marketing but i can change it if i want to i can change it so let me just um you know change it a little bit so you guys understand me better charles is marketing right now okay, you can see i actually added that then the next thing you want to do is you can see where it says the email templates now guys the email template is the draft file that you have on your gmail account remember this message that we wrote down the draft file is what we are going to be making use of so i'm going to look for it here i'm going to click on the email template and you can see that the first one the first one you can see the time you can also see the date the first one is the exact message that i want to send to the email list that i have on my google sheet so i'm just going to click on that one and you can see automatically automatically it has already imputed the message okay so once i'm done and everything is perfectly fine what i'm going to do right now is you can see i just have only four emails but for you you can have up to 50 you can have up to 100 300 400 okay the more you go all right you should know that this add-on is basically not a free one but with the free version you can send bulk messages every single day with the free version but if you want to actually go a little bit higher you can also purchase a paid plan i'm going to be leaving the link below okay so that for those of you who want to take this to the next level you can you know purchase a paid plan or you can also still make use of the free plan every single day okay and you'll be able to send bulk emails directly from your gmail account so i'm going to click on send for emails and once i click on send for emails you can see it's going to start sending emails to um you know the list that i have here so it's sending already let's just wait for it to send up and well you can see it's basically loading out it's sending out the message already so very very simple you guys you can see that all the emails have been sent very very simple all the emails have been sent you can see so we have no issue at all we have no problem at all so please if you follow this video with the exact way i shared with you right now you should also have no issue please make sure you're smashing the like button now because i really, really know many of you are happy with this video right and you really really find it so so informative so please smash the like button and if you're new don't leave here without subscribing okay show me some love thank you so much guys so you can see that our what our mail was sent out to the emails that we have here so if you want to basically um get to see the status of the email maybe it was sent or it wasn't if it was opened or it wasn't opened you can get to see that here and i'm going to prove that to you so basically what i did was that i sent an email to one of my own email address okay one of my own email address and i'm going to check that out for you i'm going to show you guys okay i'm going to open the email 
and we're going to come back here and let's see the status of the mail maybe it was opened or it wasn't open so what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to go over to the um gmail account that i also sent a message to and i'm going to find the gmail um you know the gmail tabs let's wait for it to load up it's going to take a little bit of the time but it's not going to take that long so let me just go over to gmail okay let me go over to my gmail account and let's open up that message and let's see okay come on come on quickly so guys please make sure you smash the like button okay and if you've got any questions you can also let me know in the comment section below so we want to check out all those things i want to really prove to you that this method is working so guys you can see that the message came in successfully you can see the name it showed here it says charles is marketing and you can see that exactly the way i wanted it to be sent right very very easy and very very simple so you can see here are all the emails that i sent to myself so you can see charles is marketing right now that is the name of the send that we want to make use of and i showed you guys how you do that right so let's go back to the dashboard and let's see the status of the email sent so i'm going to go back okay and boom guys you can see it says email opened so with this method you'll be able to track your emails if they are being sent correctly and if they are being opened by its recipients guys so this is how you go about sending book emails right for you from your gmail account so if you're really really happy with this video please make sure you smash the like button give this video watching a like okay get any question you want to ask me can let me know in the comment section below and in my next video i'm going to put out something really really massive and i told you you don't really want to miss that so i'm going to catch up in my next video so until next time please you make sure you take care of yourself bye